So yeah, just use condoms, guys. Stay safe. I brainwashed myself from a very young age. How do you prep for your first time? Say it out loud, it's gonna happen. When you gain weight, your ass gets fatter and so do your titties. bitches welcome back to my channel i literally filmed a video earlier today which is why i'm drinking the same drink but this is a different video so today i'm gonna be filming a girl talk self-care type video where i give you guys advice from my experiences and i'm gonna answer questions that you guys ask me you know tonight i'm feeling a little bit more you know talkative <laughs> I literally made a few TikToks earlier, but TikTok wanna not post my videos and put them under review, even though I'm literally not showing any ass or any titties. Honestly, just thinking TikTok thinks I'm underage or something, but I'm 20, so somebody let TikTok know. Anyways, in today's video, I will be answering your guys' questions. You guys asked me some pretty juicy questions, so I'm just gonna answer them. Hopefully, you guys kind of, you know, feel a little sense of like reassurance, like, okay, like she feels that way, maybe I feel like that. Or if you guys just want some advice. I got y'all. So I have a lot of really interesting questions. I'm not gonna start in any order. I'm just gonna literally just answer any question. So we're gonna start with some, you know, simple questions. None too juicy yet. Okay, so a lot of people asked if I take birth control or if I do anything of that kind of sort. Personally, I do not take birth control and I hated it when I did it, which I used the pills. So, you know, you had to eat it like every day. And I freaking hated that because I gained so much weight. That I got so much acne the scarrings were really bad personally for me birth control is not my thing and i will never do birth control ever again a lot of people are wondering like okay well like how do you protect yourself or not get pregnant <laughs> if you don't take birth control guys condoms just use condoms they're here for a reason not saying that you shouldn't take birth control it's literally so different for everybody's own bodies but personally for me birth control did not work with my body you know some people get better skin and their hormones and everything is pretty good on birth control but hell no i was just all over the place it was so bad for me so it really depends on everybody and for me birth control was just not my thing okay and like on top of that i know like other birth control stuff the shot in the arm or that little thing that goes inside you there's other stuff that i could definitely try out but i just don't want to i learned my lesson the first time and i don't want to risk it i don't even want to go through a few months of just like thinking like is this working like Heck no, I'm never going back. So yeah, just use condoms, guys. Stay safe. <laughs> and then obviously, that just comes to the topic of people asking me like, how do you feel about saving yourself for marriage and stuff? I am not a virgin, okay guys? Uh, I've had sex before. That is also another thing that it just depends on you, what you want to do with your body. Uh, I chose to have sex and that's that. Like if you yourself want to save yourself for marriage, there's literally nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with having sex before marriage. It's your body, your decision. But I also want to make sure that like what I say in this video, you guys don't take it to where, you know, you guys feel like I'm persuading you guys to do what I did. Just make sure that whatever you guys choose to do, it is all on your own. You know, it's your decision. Remember that. Never feel pressured by anyone or social media, anything. Okay, guys. Okay, so somebody asked, how do you get over the scary thoughts about your first time? I have fear of sex. I think that if you have a fear of sex, I say just don't do it yet until you're ready because my first time having sex, I was 100% ready and I wasn't scared because I like mentally prepared myself for you know what was to come. There's so much to that, but I just say do not have sex until you feel comfortable and ready. And I know it's like having sex is definitely not something that you can 100% prepare for but prepare the most you can because I feel like sex is a thing that should feel good and you should not feel scared about it so if you do feel scared about it just don't do it I also think that if you do feel more comfortable and more ready then sex in itself you won't be as tense and it won't hurt my first time um i definitely was not tense or anything so it was not painful at all for me i think that's like all about finding the right partner and finding somebody you're very attracted to or somebody that just makes you feel comfortable because if you're not comfortable it won't be as enjoyable yeah it'll just be like a kind of scary experience like make sure that you know who you're having any intimate relationship with or else it's not gonna be you know as nice as it could be you know what i'm trying to say so yeah like i said my first time didn't hurt and it's because i was comfortable with who i was having sex with 
Okay guys, so somebody asked like how are you comfortable in your own body when it comes to having sex and with somebody because I know like having sex with someone sometimes you know you become self-conscious of your body because your body doesn't look like other women like whether it's the boobs or the butt or your belly fat or something you know everybody has their own insecurities for me when it comes to sex I literally do not think about myself or like my body image at all because I know that that'll affect like how I feel about myself and so I 100% like when I'm having sex I don't think about my belly fat on my stomach because we all have something or the size of my boobs if they're not jiggling like the other girls or if my ass is not big enough I don't think about that stuff because that is so self-harmful to your own self-confidence just try your best to practice not thinking about yourself even if you are thinking about your own body just know like whoever you're having an intimate relationship with is also feeling the same way about their body so just like make sure to know that you're not alone because everyone has some kind of insecurity and i feel like people think about their self insecurities the most when they're completely vulnerable which is sex because you're like naked and stuff i think about it like this if they want to have sex with me, they think I'm cute. I remember that. You letting them have sex with you. So remember guys, we some bad bitches. My self-confidence is kind of crazy, but I'm just, you know, telling y'all how I think about it. So somebody asked, um, how do you tell him that he's not satisfying you nicely? I think that when it comes to sex and you feel like they're not satisfying you instead of being like hey like you're doing this wrong if anything if i were you i would just be like hey like could you do it like this instead but yeah i always rather just prefer suggest rather than telling them I also think it's very important that when you do have sex with someone you do have a conversation with them before you do it because I think it's really important to understand a person before you're having sex just so that we're on the same page because you don't want to not talk about you know what you like or what you don't like during sex or your experiences with it and then you have sex with them and all of a sudden they're eating your ass and you're like I don't want you to eat my ass so make sure you talk to them so somebody asked what is your biggest advice when it comes to having sex make sure like i said this already you're 100 percent comfortable because if you're not comfortable that shit is not gonna feel good it's gonna be a little painful this is the vagina if you are not and i don't want to say it but i'm gonna have to say it h-o-r-n-y that thing is not gonna stretch and then that's why it's painful so if you're feeling it it will stretch and it will be not painful so you guys are asking me how do i build self-confidence and this is something that i feel like is different for everyone and i'm just gonna give you guys how i grew my self-confidence and hopefully it can help you guys but i grew my self-confidence by literally brainwashing myself so me being a very confident bad bitch and it's been like that almost since birth i've never really had the issue with self-confidence but when i did like this is before i even had my self-confidence yet like i said i grew my self-confidence pretty early in age but like back in like fifth grade right honestly i was a bad bitch like all my life but like when i was going through it where i felt like i was not a bad bitch i literally and i know this may sound weird to some people but because i watched the victoria's secret fashion show i know like sometimes it could be a very discouraging fashion show that was the complete opposite when it came to me because these girls were like walking down the runway with like their lingerie and stuff that made me feel even more confident about myself because it just made me feel like I can be just as confident as them like wow like that's how I want to be I never really looked at their looks but more so like the confidence they were showing and so I literally would tell myself all the time like you're a bad bitch you're so pretty you're so gorgeous even though you're short you're still a bad bitch like your personality makes up for it shorty I brainwashed myself from a very young age telling myself how beautiful I am and honestly this is healthy brainwashing so I basically just told myself and that I was pretty and hyped myself up and ever since then I've I honestly have not had self-confidence issues because I'm just such an outgoing, happy, confident person and like that kind of just became my personality. If you guys literally ask anybody who knows me or any of my friends, you guys will know like I'm very confident in my own self. I've showed my friends my boobies, my titties, my everything because I love all of me. That's how I became confident. I just brainwashed myself and if you guys need to become confident, literally tell yourself every time you start to self-doubt, just be like... 
now, but you a bad bitch. See, you brush your teeth in the morning, and you're like, ooh, I look so ugly doing this. But you could be like, okay, but I'm a bad bitch looking ugly doing this. So yeah, just brainwash yourself because it worked on me. And the tactic I use is all in yourself. It's all in your mind, your brain, how you talk to yourself. It's all the manifestation. If you say it out loud, it's gonna happen. All right. Somebody asked, how do you prep for your first time? Or how do you prep for sex in general? Um, how I prep is I shave my little coochie. I always wash my coochie with vaginal soap because um, I just want to make sure that it's very clean down there. Sometimes, you know, when you can't take a shower, there's vaginal wipes, which I fucking love those because it's just so convenient and quick. And sometimes you don't got time to take a shower. And then like before you actually have sex, how to prep is like you think like, yeah, I'm a fox. I'm a tiger. I'm just fucking kidding. Before I have sex, I always mentally prepare because I never want to have sex when I'm not in the mood to have sex. Obviously, if you're in the mood, like I said, your coochie will stretch and it will not hurt. Other things I do to prep, I brush my teeth. I make sure I put on chapstick. Yeah, that's basically it. I don't always have sex with makeup on, so makeup is not something I think about. And deodorant. Don't forget deodorant. So somebody asked, how do you feel about one night stands and like the no string attached relationship and open relationship? I think that that is completely fine. If you want to have sex without a relationship, that's totally fine. As long as you both are mutual about it, then why is there an issue? You know what I'm saying? Now that we're over the topic of sex, because <laughs> y'all some daddy bastards. Now we're going to talk about other stuff. Okay, now this question is very, very personal, but I also deal with this as well. But somebody said, I'm really insecure about my discharge. Discharge is completely normal. You know how I deal with that is just always buying those mini pads that you can get at the stores, like Target and stuff. They're super cheap too. I literally keep that shit stacked in my bathroom because you're not trying to ruin your beautiful Victoria's Secret, you know, underwears and stuff. Somebody asked, how do you feel good about your body when you're gaining weight? Like I said, having sex, I do not like to think about my body because that like I said is very self-harmful so during sex I either don't think about my body or hype up my body because if you think about it now this is how it was for me this winter because this winter I was literally 10 pounds heavier and I lost that 10 pounds but thinking back in my mindset when I was 10 pounds heavier I was having sex and I was thinking wow my boobs got bigger it's either you think very very good thoughts about yourself when it comes to me during sex or I just don't think about my body at all either hype yourself up or don't say nothing at all so um, when you gain weight just remember there's always positive for literally anything and there's nothing wrong with gaining weight for me I think when you gain weight your ass gets fatter and so do your titties it's a benefit honestly I really hope you guys are learning stuff from this video because I'm giving y'all all my tips all my secrets now this question I get it literally so much how did your boobs get so big my weight fluctuated a lot this winter to this summer and last summer you know being the weight i am right now my boobs are a little smaller than they were this winter time and like i said weight means your boobs get bigger weight is a big part of why my boobs look a certain size but secondly bras guys bras are so important i wear the okay i forgot what they're called i'll literally like link them down below or put them right here but there's this bra from victoria's secret and it literally can make your boobs look like two or three cups bigger i use this bra really Religiously because I love how it makes my titties look and literally I've gotten so many messages like did you get a boob job or something? Nope, I didn't get no boob job. I just got a bra job So I get all my bras from Victoria's Secret and they have great bras and if I can't wear a bra for my top I'll just wear either nipple covers even though those make my boobs look kind of small This question is do you think self-pleasure is wrong because I see a lot of people shame others for it. There's literally nothing wrong with self-pleasure. You were created in this universe to be able to pleasure yourself or be pleasured. There's nothing wrong with it and if you don't want to do it then you don't have to do it. Like I said, it's literally all on your own choice. Do whatever you want. If you want to do that, do it. So the last thing I'm gonna answer is how I deal with periods. So when I'm on my period, my flow is honestly not too heavy. I have a very like average period i have the average like four to five day thing how i deal with my periods is like the first three days i basically wear pads and i love the ones from always I forgot what they're called like the infinity foam or flex or something um i'll link them below too because those are fucking amazing but i use those because they literally absorb the blood like amazing but if i don't do that i'll wear tampons and i love tampons too because sometimes 
like tampons are just cleaner. Like you just won't have as much blood on your pad. Oh my God, that's kind of gross to talk about, but this is real life. I love using organic tampons. I think they suck the blood a lot better than other tampons. So I love this one brand. I'll link them below too, because they're amazing. And then I, of course, I always use my mini pads during the last few days of my period just because I want to make sure that you know there's nothing getting on my underwear or anything so that's basically how I deal with it uh, or what I like to use everybody has their own preferences um, in terms of pad sizing I always just get number one or number two by always just because I'm not too heavy so just make sure you find what works with your body alright guys so that is basically all I'm answering for today's self love relationships Q&A sex Q&A video I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys want me to make another one because i'm a complete open book and i will answer whatever you guys need me to answer because i am here for y'all i love you guys stay confident stay being a bad bitch and i hope you guys really learned something from this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys all in my next video bye Mwah.